very special Christmas welcome from Waregem in Flanders for what could be the last ever Soviet Union gymnastics display. And if you recognize some of the faces underneath those uniforms, it's not surprising. Every one of them a world champion almost in one gymnastics discipline or another. And what better place to start than with one world champion, Valery Belenki, the pommel horse world champion, but here performing on the rings. Belenki is also a very enthusiastic sailor. Really the strong man of this Russian men's team. Won a gold medal, of course, with them in the last World Championships in Indianapolis. Just powering out the moves to this packed audience. Fascinated to see this Russian display team. They've been touring around Europe every December for well over a decade now. But all that coming to an end with the breakup of the republics. Tremendous control there from Belenki, holding every position just as if he was in competition and wanting to show them off for the judges. One of the great things about this display, a chance to see the other gymnastics disciplines. This sports acrobatics, the men's pairs exercise, Gennady Tereshenko and Yuri Stepchenov. The overall world champions, the World Cup winners and the European champions. This is their balance exercise in sports acrobatics. You have to perform a balance exercise and a tempo exercise. And then in the final, there's also a combined exercise. But these transitional balances, one of the most thrilling parts of the sport. Great counterbalancing. The base man, just as important as the top man. just to show that they are also very capable artistic gymnastics performing some tumbling skills in between those balances good flexibility there as you can see from the splits positions great sport this Serichenko is 26 years old and Stepchenkov is 27 now in artistic gymnastics, they'd be long since retired. <laughs> Again, that beautiful counterbalance. Gennady Serechenko and Yuri Stepchenkov, world champions in the men's pairs. Back to artistic gymnastics. And this is Svetlana Kozlova onto the asymmetric bars. Kozlova, the Soviet junior champion. The overall champion, and she's also the champion on floor and vault. So they're a beautiful asymmetric bars exercise for us, someone to watch out for. Just 17 years old and going for a place at the Olympics. And now the one gymnastics discipline we haven't seen, the one branch of the sport, rhythmic. And this is Larissa Lukiahenko world junior champion and she's the senior champion of the russian republic's championship a 
18 years old and a chance to shine here because Oksana Skaldina, the overall world champion, and Alexandra Timoshenko, who won all the apparatus finals, haven't made the trip. This is the new generation. lovely angular shapes and a very dramatic exercise lots of expression in there and a big cheery salute to the crowd from Valeri Lukin now certainly one of the veterans Great favorite all around the world. Member of the winning team in Indianapolis at the World Championships. Won the silver medal at the Olympic Games on the parallel bars. Look at that sequence of moves. A little bit raggy, but then he's not being marked. Double pipe back somersault to dismount. Lukin, as brisk as ever, getting on with the job. Now the Soviet girl gymnast with a vaulting display. That's Rosalia Galieva, just warming up at the moment with a handspring front one and a half. Shusevitana. Same vault, but with a half twist on the end. Yurchenko in an almost straight position and Kozlova, that's better, better position, the same bolt again. Galieva, adding in a bit more style, a bit more precision to the second bolt. Shusevitina, the world floor champion. Natalia Kalinina, full twisting Yurchenko. And this is Koshlova, there's the Yurchenko. The Arab spring onto the springboard, and then the full twist in the back somersault, the back one and a half somersault, off the horse. Korobczynski now on floor. The man for whom the World Championships was such a disappointment. He went in there, favorite to win the individual all-round title, but didn't even make the competition because he made a bad mistake on pommel horse in the team section of the competition and was outside the Russian top three. But his performance on floor was good enough to get him through to the individual finals and he went on from there to take the gold medal beautiful work like that that you can only sit back and watch and admire wonderfully stylish double layout back somersault to finish with a little slack around the knees but there are no judges Onto the bean, Svetlana Kozlova. She's the overall junior champion of the Soviet Union, 17 years old. Also took the floor and vault gold medals in those junior championships. Uh, 
that nasty pirouette that is compulsory in all beam exercises and catches out even the best. Double back dismount, nicely landed. And Valeri Belenki. Here he is on the pommel horse, the piece of apparatus on which he's world champion. Those circles on the pommel handles, very difficult to keep your balance must keep your center of gravity directly above them when you've got such a narrow base. Up to the flares and that lovely fluent dismount from Belenki. And Elena Shamamutulskaya, the junior champion of the Soviet Union. She's taken over from Larissa Lukiahenko, who's just a year older. Lukiahenko won the junior championships last year, and Chamatulskaya won them this year. And a shape and a style that immediately reminds me of the great Alexandra Timoshenko. Incredible flexibility. And a good catch to finish with.